Yeah. Well, Gaffer, no game last week, and I'm sure you and the team would have been disappointed not to have been out there playing. It's not ideal because um, to go two weeks without a game at this stage of the season is not ideal. But um, it's also give teams a, an opportunity to play their games and so it's put a bit more realism toward to the table. So um, you know everybody's played 35 or 36 games now, apart from Mansfield. So um, more or less every team knows where they are now. Have you been able to use that time off? Um, <coughs> we've had we had one day out just for the Cheltenham races, not actually two. Cheltenham races but um, just the social side of it we, we've got a good group here the lads like the social aspect of it so um, we enjoyed that day we've we've managed to obviously train Friday, Saturday when the game was off so um, we'll get to the stage now where we're raring for a game On to Colchester United now and one of the teams that are kind of just above the relegation zone I'm sure we're expecting a, a tough game and, and maybe a different side to the one we faced earlier in the season Yeah they're probably one of three or four teams that spent a lot of money in January to get them out of where where they were um, the previous manager done a good job in, in getting away from danger. Um, watched the last game at home to to Stockport, play a nice system, um, a system that can cause you a lot of problems if you don't get it right. Um, and they've got some good players, so um, I would imagine we've, we we face a sterner test than, than when we played them early in the season. Ben Garner coming in, obviously he's just had the, the wrong game in charge so far, but it's part of a run where I think it's five about a win now, so, so we know they're going to be right up for it. Yeah, I mean, whenever a new manager comes in, everybody says you get a bounce straight away, but it's not always the case. The managers need time to work and implement the ideas. So, um, you know, Ben in the in the main played a four at, um, at Swindon, which got him success. But um, obviously, he started off with a with a with a back three, back five. Um, so we'll see if the change we've worked on. You know, we've we've been playing a system that has now probably got to the end of of, of its shelf life. So we've we've changed a little bit. So he was planning on changing. To go with two strikers against Mansfield, um, you know, so we, we want a more of a goal for it. Uh, we want to score more goals, so we'll see what, what our system is tomorrow. Monday night, obviously the London Football Awards. You're up for Manager of the Year, and yeah. um, a couple of the other lads up for one. In particular, Paul Smith <coughs> come away with an award. Um, I spoke to Paul Smith earlier, and he kind of admitted that this kind of New Year has been a bit stop start for him. So. How important is it going to be for, for him to be kind of sharp and at it in the, in the final running? Well, first and foremost, you invited me because I thought I had a chance of winning. And then I found out before I got there on the on the night that I wasn't going to win. And I st for him, I don't want to turn up and come, come second. So it serves Mikel Wright for winning because he got beat last night and I saw out the Europa, Europa Cup. And Ramsdale beat Vigaru for the goalkeeper of the year and he didn't save a penalty. Viggs would have saved one of them. Um, no, Paul deserved it up against some stiff competition. Um, and like I say, he's, listen, he's been out injured and that's been tough for him, but it's been tough for us. The players that have stepped in have done fantastic. Um, you know, so he's in the squad now. He's, he's looking fitter in training. And I'm always loath to stick him straight back in because he's at risk of him breaking down. So we've tried to manage him getting back up to full speed. He's more or less there now. Um, so congratulations to him on that award. Probably thought he should have won the, the Goal of the Year award as well. Um but a lot of Koreans voted for Son. Yeah. Um, looking now, I guess, it's interesting, but this month, just the three games and next month, eight games. So Paul's kind of uh, an example of, of players that are coming back to fitness and, and hopefully having a, a full squad to choose from to go into a very difficult run of games. Well, we've got a full squad to choose from tomorrow. Everybody's fit. Um, <coughs> picking a team is difficult. Picking a bench is difficult. It's never nice to leave players out of the squad. But, you know, if you've been out for a long time, we'll, we'll arrange a game on Tuesday so the players can get 60, 70, some of them will get 90 minutes. Um, but we haven't got, I think we've got Dan De Kruma and Rob Hunt who are missing from the squad. Everybody else is fit, so um, it's it's tough, but it's a great it's a great position to be in. You spoke about Theo Ashford last week, so that was it news around him? Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. He's in the squad. He's trained. Um, he trained yesterday. So he trained Wednesday. We give him Thursday off. Um, and he's trained Friday, so he's good to go. Um, obviously, back home again. It's been um, a fantastic year at, at Brisbane Road so far, and I think three points tomorrow will put us in a very good position going into the rest of the season. Yeah, I think these next two two games are important. Um, we have still got a lot of the, the top teams to play, um, but we put ourselves in a position now where you know we, you want to get over the line as quick as possible. So we need to turn up tomorrow, be professional. Um, we've had two weeks rest, so we should be fresh and ready to go. Um, We've been our form at home has been immense, so let's continue that. Um, and we get into that time of the year now where 
you know, pressure starts to hit and we, we need to handle the pressure. We've handled it all year because we're, along with probably two or three other teams, have been the majority of the season the teams that had to handle the pressure. So um, no, I'm looking forward to turning up tomorrow. Good atmosphere, full house again. I've asked for eight comps off Lindsay. She can only give me five. So the season ticket holders who don't turn up better turn up because my family members can't come, so they better turn up tomorrow.